Hello, hello, it's Heather. Sorry, I'm a few minutes late. Let's get this chat open so we can get this jewelry bag haul going. So pretty. My kids, oh, it's summertime. They are driving me insane. I'm so glad I'm not having any more kids. So thankful. Okay. Good afternoon, it's Saturday. I usually don't do videos on the weekends too often, so when I do, here I am. It's usually, I guess, for something good or something, right? We got best friend in your thread, Thrifty Christy Janet, saying hey in the chat. Okay, pop out chat, got it. I'm really flustered. No kidding. My kids are like, got my brain going 100 miles an hour. Okay. All right. So y'all pick left or right. I have two bags. They don't look different. So just pick. Tell me, do you want left or right? Which one's better luck? And we'll do that bag. Because it's like one of them's fighting and they're crying. Um, I think we'll only be able to do one bag in one video because it'll probably take a whole hour to go through one bag because I show everything in detail, left or right. Anybody? They were $25 each. And um, I went to go get a birthday cake for my littlest one this morning. And lo and behold, my hubby didn't go to work yet. So I figured I'll go run and get the cake. And then lo and behold, I realized that they bring out the jewelry bags so on the weekend so when got one anyone okay i'm gonna go with the first person that said and responded so left okay and then janet said oh right one so best friend in the thread said left well my right my left or your right <laughs> that's funny um my left someone else pick we got two it's like hello hello Okay, a tie? Oh, right one. Yeah, it is a tie, right? Okay, we'll just go with the left one in my left hand, okay? However, I'm like, ooh, there's good stuff in here. I don't know. What's MDA? There's a Texas. Um, oh, yeah, I can see my waterfall. I didn't even get to see that yet because the chat's in the way. Okay, let me widen the screen. So these are J. Crew, and I actually got these in a jewelry bag haul when I first started doing these a couple months back, like right when I got back from Austin. And these are the first time I've wore them. They are pretty, however, they are super heavy. I think I'm going to totally just throw them up for sale on Poshmark. So Thrifty Christy just got back from the yard sale. She went yesterday and got the White House. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The skirt and the full of pants. Two bags of clothes. $3 a bag. Spent $10. Awesome, because this was $50 total, you guys. And she asked me if I wanted to round it up. And I was like, no, thank you, because I rounded up my dollar at the Goodwill yesterday. All right, let's get into it. Without further ado, right? I never say that in my videos when I watch all these YouTubers say the same thing. Without further ado, let's get into it. I don't follow the trend on YouTube, apparently. Sorry. Just do my own thing. Okay. So when I got there, it was about, um, I don't want to tell you the exact time, but a little bit after closing, and there was four jewelry bags, I believe. And if y'all saw my recent video, when I went to the jewelry counter, there was nothing in there. Well, it was fully packed today. Um, but the lady before me beat me, so she got all the uh, best silver pieces. So here's a just a bangle that's broken. Okay, so the lady that bought the other two jewelry bags, um, she said she wanted beads and I don't want beads. And so we might, I actually gave her my phone number and I might like trade with her on the jewelry that she doesn't want. I was like, yeah, girl, if you got any, my kid, they torture each other, right? Every day it's like they're screaming at each other. My two sons, 
Um, good quality, but it's just uh, missing rhinestones. That's different. It's actually furry. That, look at that lighting. Woo -woo. I'm using my little table light here. So annoying with this paper. Um, this is cool. I have to go tell my child to quit, quit fighting. So that's nifty. We'll put that aside, see if we have a match. OMG, what is that, a necklace piece? That's cool. It's kind of enamel-like. I like the retro browns. All right, so here's a leather bracelet. Oh, it's got a bow, how cute. Too bad it's not logoed like Betsy Johnson or anything. Look guys, there's no rhinestones missing. Hold on, I gotta go tell my kids to quit screaming at each other. Okay. The real life struggles of a freaking mom. I told my oldest son, go play, go away, like just leave Rylan alone. Okay. So it's not engraved. It says Y I K F U N G on this stamp here. This is really pretty. It's kind of brand new. I really like it. It's nice that it's blue too, right? This is a score. I have to say that's worth, I would say at least $10 of this jewelry bag so far, you guys, no lie. Like if you bought that in the store. So I'm happy with that. Oh, look, here's the matching earring. Holy moly. We just got to find a hook or replace it. And like, that is so funny. This is all going to be cool stuff, Chica. Like... Ooh, ooh. Apparently we get good jewelry bags. Gina, she went through a jewelry bag the other night and I was like, man, they really went through her stuff and she really got junk jewelry. Um, I'm kind of new to the jewelry bags, but I mean, I get Brighton stuff and what do we got? We got a Tory Burch bracelet in here before and James Avery pieces and Gina, I don't think she got any of that. I was really bummed for her. So this is missing like a jewel, so it's just really junk. So I'm gonna put all this kind of stuff that I really don't want and it's craft jewelry, like all this Gina could use for her junk journals. I should really consider that, right? Uh, like junk journal jewel locks on eBay. Okay, this is really cool. I'm getting excited. Jewelry's like, kind of like girls, like, they love shoes, but they love jewelry too. So that's cheap. I don't want this at all. Really cheap. That's my screen too. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see pretty good. Pretty cheap old school earring. But this, on the other hand, is intriguing. The word that I'm looking for, I don't think it is. It's intriguing. It's a little tangled, but that's okay. Let's see. I got this wire here. Hey, Friday. What's up? I haven't seen you. Wait, wait. There's the mailman. I already shipped two packages. That's all I had. It was on my mom's account, I think. So, oh my gosh. This is so, like, bad AWS. So, it's got the bar there. Total layer um, there. And we got some turquoise here. I just need to detangle it. This is cool. Doesn't have the maker's mark, unfortunately. Super awesome. So far, this piece does not look like it's broke. It's just tangled. Very cool. Here comes the kids. Throw that bracelet in the junk. <coughs> You gaudy, gaudy, gaudy. So here's two matching earrings. Um, I was gonna say, are they missing a bling? 
They actually are not missing any bling. It looks like they are, but they're heart earrings. So those are matches. You're welcome, baby. I have no idea what this is. It's a very large circle, but it's a really good copper. It's very cool. Okay, 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 moving along. Um, this piece alone is like super heavy. Let's see if it's missing any jewels. I wouldn't think that it is because it's so heavy. There's no tarnishing, which is really cool. Let's flip it out. So it's an older vintage piece. I can obviously tell, but wham, bam, that thing's not even fading really at all. Woo! Hot mama. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is going to take forever. Rollin, y'all go play, please. Um, here's a leather wrap bracelet, and it has uh, scriptures or something. Um, yeah, it's not even broken. It says, really good quality. Our Father who art in heaven, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So pretty. It's leather. This is a score. Man, I'm already, I've already recouped my money back. Sorry to say, but I really feel like I have. With just these two bracelets alone. This is good quality. That's a weapon. Um, like the beaded bracelet. <laughs> so here's a cheap, uh, dangle, tear, whatever you want to call it. We have a big hoop there. Ooh, whoa. I don't see any jewels missing, which is really nice. If it has any jewels missing, like I don't care about it. It's going in a junk pile. But if it's pretty decent, I might consider lotting it up or doing something like on eBay with it. So. We'll see, we'll put this aside too. Um, really nice, it's got a rock or stone. I have no idea what the heck this is supposed to be. Can anybody tell me? Uh, no, this is from an actual Goodwill store. Um, so I have a Goodwill, I mean, most towns have Goodwills, you know, several of, the, of them around town. So I have one really close to my house. And before my hubby went to work today, I went and scored, went to go check him out. I didn't even call on the phone or anything. I just showed up. I was like 10 minutes there after they opened. And there was ladies already there going through the bags. And I was like, oh, you are looking at the jewelry bags. That's what I came for. And, there, and uh, somehow they didn't want two of them. So I grabbed both of them right away. I was like, yep, I didn't even care. I took the risk just to sit here with you guys and do a YouTube video and show you guys all these goodies. And lo and behold, already, like we're not even at the bottom of the bag. I'm, I'm impressed on one bag. So this is really cheap. You can order these like um, bracelets on eBay for like less than a dollar, free shipping and all from China. I've ordered them before. I thought I would try to resell them. I tried to take pictures of them and they didn't look good and I never really tried to take it off too far. Um, but these were popular at one point and I never made any money off of them. But you can buy these, you guys, like less than a dollar. Really cheap. So that's going in a junk jewelry for sure. Ooh, this is a leather bracelet and I don't know the logo at all. Can anybody help? Tucker, or is that Rowan, or the dog chewing something? Puppy, what is this? Does it come? Oh, it's magnetic. Look, I am I have two magnetic bracelets. I'm going to lock these up together for those handicapped people. Someone had mentioned in the chat that this is good for those who have mobility issues. So, yeah, this is super cool. Yeah. And that's a beautiful color. That's actually great for my blonde hair. Cheap, cheap bangle, junk jewelry. 
Um, I will lot up bangles that are good quality together and see if they'll sell. Um, there's a really good quality earring. But if they're like cheap, cheap, like dollar store bangles and they clearly will bend if I just squeeze them, they're junk jewelry to me. So there's a big hoop. Oh my gosh, what is that? Huge turquoise. Very pretty. I have no idea if this is jewelry or um, a decor piece. Oh, you love when I share my finds. Thank you. I love when you guys watch them. <laughs> oh, look, here's a, that's weird. Oh, so here we have an earring. Is it missing jewels? Wow, it's not missing jewels. Oh my God, really, Tucker? And a matching necklace. There's no engravings on the back. But I don't know if we have the other earrings. So here we have a two set. We need the three piece, right? That'd be crazy if it's in here. Ooh, look at this air postal. It's still on the leather thingy. There's some paper on here. So there's some brand new earrings. They're really cheap. There's a piece of sticky paper that needs to be removed from this one. That's cute. I'll throw that in a pile. Oh, let me show you these big bulky enamel. So you call it enamel with this, you know, shiny stuff. It's called enamel. That's something new that I use. So I'm like, hey guys, it's enamel. <laughs> what, babe? No, you cannot take a shower. Well, no, you're not. Let me see. Go rinse off, Tucker. Oh my gosh. My 12 year old, he is something. Go put some clothes on, son. You just got out of the swimming pool in the backyard with the water hose. You don't need to take a shower. Um, cheap, very cheap earring. This is totally going in the junk jewelry because it's missing the paint. But this one we'll put aside to see if we have a match. So again, like those tarnished and like missing jewels, I don't care if they have matches. They're going to go find a new home. I have no use for them. Um, this is not missing jewels. It's really pretty. Here's the match to that junk earring I just showed you. Um, here's the match to the earring that was missing pieces. Yeah, this is a really cheap earring. <clears throat> and it's broke. That's cute. What is this? Oh, I love this piece. So I bet you can just hang this. Look at that. I might keep this. So you can uh, extend it onto something. Maybe. Maybe. It's really good quality. Kind of a... I don't know what kind of silver it is. So here's, let's get this out of the way. Very large um, pearl necklace. Here's some two earrings. We need those to find the home. This has a engraving. Let's see. It's just the letter R. I have no idea, like Rue 21 or something. <laughs> I don't know. Pearl necklace. Ooh, wow, what the heck is that symbol? Is it a symbol at all? It's not real. I wish it was. It's totally costume jewelry. Yeah, a huge pearl necklace. This is not missing any jewels, so that's nice. We'll set it aside. Okay, mm, that's cute. Earring. OMG, is this, oh, that's an earring. Woo! Steampunk or, um, so that came off of it. So that's funky. Funky earring. Um, and there's a match to this earring. Can I not? Yeah, it just needs to be bent. So it can stay together. Stay together. Oh, look, we got the steampunk earring match. 
These will be cool to put on posh. Woo woo, too bad I don't know the maker. I don't see any jewels missing. These are cool. Tuck, I don't know where your phone is, son. You gotta look for it. That's broke. We're gonna throw that in the junk jewelry. I'm not calling your phone for you, sir. You're gonna look for it. So, yeah, but I'm busy, son. I'll be done here in a minute. He can go find his phone. Um, what is this called? I can't think what it is called right off the top of my head. It's a hammered bangle bracelet. Kind of looks like it has some staining on it, but it might wipe off. Yeah, it might wipe off. Cute. Cute, cute. Oh, here's a ear cuff. So it goes in your ear like this. Wait, this side. I'm not going to put this in my ear, you guys. And then it cuffs around your ear up here. I've never put one of these on. I'm not sure that would feel very good, but whatever. Um, this is a really good, heavy quality zebra hoop earring, and it's not missing any jewels. Throw that there. Okay, this is clearly like a dollar store earring. I'm throwing it in a junk pile to get it out of my life. Oh, look, it's a music symbol. How cute. This is going to sell. Like, it's not fancy and expensive, but someone will definitely buy this for 20 or under on Posh or something like that, maybe. See, you found your phone, no problem. I called it. How'd you call it? Facebook. Tablet. Oh. Okay. No engravings. Love it. It's not missing jewels. Okay, so let's start a necklace row here that's good. That's maybe sellable. So what is this? Um, I can clearly make maybe a necklace. What is this? No clue. But you could probably make a really cool necklace out of this. These two pieces right here. Hmm. Let's take it off of here. Maybe I can tell. Um. Oh, okay. Maybe I can make a choker into this. This would be really pretty. Woo -woo. I like it. We're going to set it over here. Even though it's broken, I might fix it. You're back. Man, I can't wait to go to, through this next jewelry bag. We might upload another video right after this. I don't know yet. We'll see how the kids are doing. And I'll see when Chris is supposed to be coming home early today from Saturday work. So this is just a cheap gold uh, toned earring. I see no engravings. I do have 2020 vision, so that's a good thing, right? <clears throat> oh, cool. We got lots of little backs. Whoa, mama. But yeah, talk about like cocktail night. That would be pretty spiffy. Like I ever heard a cocktail night. Does that even exist in a mom world? Um, so these aren't missing any jewels. Pretty tear or whatever you call this. What do you call that? Is it tear? Is that it? Is there another word? Here's a match to that cheap, like, dollar store hoop. The exact match to be right on point. Um, a broke chain that doesn't look sterling to me. A really cheap chain. We'll keep aside maybe to make a cheap necklace with. Here's a best friend's necklace. Oh my gosh, Chloe, quit jumping on the door. Junk. This is junk. Okay, best friend thing. Let me go back 
the lit. Oh, is that bogey? Let me get the puppy in. So here's a junk um, rubber bracelet. It's just really tarnished. Be right back. Whoa, who tore up the box of tissues? I swear, I cleaned the whole floors and the dog just shredded a tissue all across my entire floor. Like in the matter of since I started this video. Not fun. So that's a broke piece here. Throw that in the junk jewelry. What is that? Oh my gosh. So this, I don't know, is that the price that came on it? If it's $2 or not, but here's the um, Statue of Liberty and it is heavy. It's never been used because it's clearly not tarnished, but New York, right? Statue of Liberty. It's not broke or nothing. That's interesting. Interesting. Sorry, I have to keep leaving because of these kids. At least I go a little fast, right? Um, so there's a really cheap earring, even though it's pretty. You can tell it's, like, not real stone or anything. This is different. It looks kind of vintage. Oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of looks cheap, but it's it's different. I wonder if it's got like a certain maker. Um, there's no jewels missing, which means it's good quality if it's not missing jewels, right? So these these beads seem really vintage to me. So no maker. That's interesting. We'll have to look into that piece. Logan, OMG. I think we got like the earring bag, right? Because there is so many earrings in here. Oh, how wonderful. This is the match to that like fancy. Wow. We got a match. Is this. Yeah. They're totally gold, gold toned, but they're nice gold toned. Oh, look, it's missing the center piece. Okay, so we could just break off the other center piece, right? Oh, that's hilarious. Can you tell? Yeah, you can tell down here it's broke off. I gotcha. Hmm, they're really heavy. Okay. So here's that cheap mat matching earring that's junk jewelry. Um, a really cheap, like probably pennies necklace, um, plastic beads. Do you redonate the junk jewelry? If you, if so, make sure you donate to somewhere where you don't buy the jewelry bag so you don't get the, oh yeah, for sure. No, I was thinking, um, well, I'll let this lady look at the beads that she may want to buy from me. Um, but I am thinking that. I may donate some of this stuff to like a women's shelter or something. So here's another music pin. So it's really nice quality. It's not missing any stones. It's pink and I don't know, is that fluorescent or the white one is like rainbow color? I don't know what that's called, iridescent or <laughs> not a word. Fluorescent or iridescent? Help me out, somebody. Yeah, I would think a women's shelter would be really good to donate this stuff to. Or there's a lot of handicapped people that like to make jewelry, too. So, like, something somewhere there, like, where people would have fun with the textures and the beads, you know? Handicapped people or something. So, where's that other... Where's that other piece? Um, oh, with that necklace, or what it was the other music? It was, the music was the necklace. So maybe I could bundle up the pin and the... Bogey, quit biting on something, man. 
Is he biting on something? He's gonna chew it up. Looks Aurora. Whoa, Borealis style or something opal like. That's a little much. The heck are you chewing on, Bogey? Okay, so this big gaudy earring broke. It has a piece falling off. Oh my gosh, this dog is chewing up a box. No, sir. Okay, I'm back. I promise I'm here. <laughs> That's like what the fourth interruption I've had. Um, these are totally going in the junk jar because they're broken. Junk jewelry that I'm like, don't want nothing to do with. Oh, this is cute. What is this? Interesting. I'll have to look it up. T-O-U-S. Never heard of it. And it's got some kind of little figurine there. Interesting. <clears throat> uh, just a cheap little cool beaded, it's really pretty, charm, I guess. It's going to be junk jewelry for me because it's not real. It's not a profit for me unless I lot it all up. Oh, I like it. Look, it, it's a simple brown toned beaded necklace. I like it. I'm going to put that aside in case I find the matcher. The match. Um, this earring. I'm interested in this earring. Okay, yeah, because it doesn't go together. That's why. Okay, so this is junk. It's like really cheap. Like I can literally bend this silver here. But it is a cool little shell. But that's junk jewelry junk jewelry because it's the broken necklace here let's see but this has charms really cool is this a bracelet because it's like really small i think it could fit me but i don't really i don't like these charm bracelets if this is what that is I'm not into this style. <laughs> like, how do we get this off? It doesn't really, oh, it does open, you silly girl. Oh, okay. It's because I've never owned one of these. So I guess you keep your charms there. I don't see any logos, so it's just an off brand. Um, but we'll set this aside with bracelets. OMG, it doesn't. It does have, does it? It doesn't, it does. It does not have a stone missing. Um, an earring with blue stones. It has no engravings. No engravings. All right. What is this? Okay, we got a broken chandelier earring. So, I'm basically going to take the two piece and throw them in the junk jewelry because it literally, it didn't break where the loops are. Like I can fix that. No problem. It actually broke the metal. So I don't want anything to do with it. Oh, look there. We got our match to our vintage looking enamel earring. It's not broke. Oh, look. So this one might be repairable, even though, I mean, I'm not too crazy about it, but it is kind of brand new. Maybe. Yeah. So if you look here, this is a two tier on the back. It broke. All you got to do is rip off the back on this one. So then we have a two tier necklace. So we'll set this aside. It almost seems like it's the Navajo sterling silver. It's like a sand dollar kind of. There's no engraving, so, but it is pretty. Super cheap earring, but it's cute with the dangles. That's going in the junk jewelry as well. Um, junk jewelry, pretty beads. Total junk jewelry, super cheap, thin. Um, oh, is that an earring? 
Whoa, mama. We'll set that aside and see if we can find a match first. Okay, this is super cool. Really awesome. It reminds me. And I was telling myself, I, okay, I have to look this up. So I was telling myself before the videos and when I found these bags that I hope I find some kind of like chakra jewels. Like certain jewels have like, even turquoise can have like healing properties. Like they're supposed to make you happy or relieve stress. I was hoping I'd find something like that, but this is so cool. It's like a wood piece and it's a necklace and it's shaped like a jewel. So I'm going to have to see like if they consider like you holding a piece of wood can, I don't know, you get what I'm saying? Maybe you don't, some of you do, but if you're into that chakra kind of spiritual stuff, that's what I was going for. So there's a cheap, very cheap plastic earring. Um, a very unique bracelet, but it's super hardcore cheap. Tarnished. Yay, Bogey, you're chewing a toy and not something you're not supposed to. So there's a broken earring. We have half a match to that. A cheap, probably like a JC Penny's little clip-on earring. What kind of wood? I mean, it's just a brown wood. No clue. I can ask my hubby because he's a carpenter, but I don't know if he'll know. He could probably guess on what kind of wood he thinks it is. I'm off. Does it smell? It's not, uh, what is it? Not the redwood, but cherry wood. It's not cherry wood. <laughs> I don't know. A really cheap a Joy necklace. So this is really tarnished and cheap. It's not worth my resale value. It's going in the junk lot. Now this is something that does interest me. So it's got real turquoise and real stones on it, which is kind of like chakra. So it's got the purple like lavender. I don't know if you call that lavender, but um, yeah, so there's a red stone. They're all clearly like r real rocks. So I like that piece. And then I could see this through the bag. Uh, it's silver toned. I... <coughs> Whoa, he scared the crap out of me. Bogey, don't do that. Do you want to say hi? You want to be the fifth distraction? Bogey, come here. Don't cry. They're fighting over a toy. Okay, it's just a really <coughs> cheap, cheap chain. Let me put him in the bedroom. After y'all see how big he is. Tell him hi. You probably can't see me. Say hi, Bogey. He's getting big. Go lay down. You can go lay down. I'll give you your toy right here. <coughs> Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. Okay. Sorry, guys, for the millionth time. So here's the match to that other earring I had. Sent me a message. You did? You want my junk jewelry or what? Um, so this is cool. It's a vintage necklace. I like how it's got the, like, fishing wire kind of like and very simple. It's really pretty. It's very unique and old, though, too, so it's kind of, like, out of date. He is getting big. Yeah, I'm going to set that aside. It needs to be cleaned. Um, so there is a watch in here. It's smart health, water-resistant, pulse. It's just a, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. Too bad it's not Tiffany, right? Bam. Wouldn't that be a score? I kind of always wanted a necklace like this from Tiffany, but what would that be like? A thousand dollars? No, thank you. No, thank you. Um, this is tarnished. It's tarnished really bad. It's going to go in the junk jewelry for resale. Um, here's another one of the matching metal bracelet that has no logo, but they are genuine leather, so that's cool. 
Oh, this is cool. It's totally a vintage piece. I might need to hold on to this just because it feels so old and do some research, but it's like a little charm, cheap bracelet, nothing special, but you never know. So this is junk jewelry. Also, it's missing um, rhinestones. I have no interest for it. Here's a Tinkerbell, um, really nice leather watch. I'll probably put that on eBay or something. I don't know if I should probably get a battery this time on a watch. The ones when I don't replace the battery, they sit longer on eBay maybe, I think. So there's a second watch. Here's another watch. It's, um, well, it seems really nice, but it's CTNY Quartz. New York, Japan, it's probably not really worth anything, but we'll look it up. I just like the, what do you call it, the screen or the cover, I can't think of the name. This is cool. It's like belly dancing style, right? Love this piece, man, if you had that outfit to go with it. It's a little... A little tarnished. It looks like money pieces on here. This is a really cool piece, you guys. Even though it's cheap, it's got like money. Oh my gosh, I love this. So freaking cool. I'm going to put it on right now. Tinkerbell watch. Oh, you sent me a message about the wood. Oh, my why? You want to buy my junk jewelry? <laughs> I like it. Um, so here's a unique earring, but it's really useless to me. It's kind of cool, though. It's got leather there. All right, let's find some cool pieces. Yay, here's another little chakra bracelet for me. I should probably keep these. However, they're a little bit wider than I like, and they'll probably get lost swimming whenever I fling my hands and stuff. Um, they do seem a little too big, so we'll have to investigate that more. This is another one. Oh, these are so fun. I actually might have necklaces to lock these up with. This is a score, I think, in my opinion. Um, really nice, good quality bead here. I'm all, it's glass, yeah but it's a simple bracelet. So weird. Very fun. Yes, so much fun. So like here's some cheap charm that's broke. It's totally cheap and tarnished. I'm trying not to touch like my nose or my face with my fingers because they're dirty from all this. So I have to use like my knuckle to itch my nose. So here's a gaudy beaded bracelet that's super duper shiny. Great for like going out at night because it's really shiny and it's not missing any jewels. I'll keep this aside in a lot maybe. Um, wow, this piece is really nice. I do believe this, mm, I don't know, no. I don't think it's real turquoise, but it looks like it, but it might be. I don't know. I'll have to look into it. These are clearly got bead holes down here, so I'm not sure. It's cheap in the back, so I don't know. It's vintage, though. You can tell because it's good quality, maybe. There's two vintage bracelets. I see something fun. I don't know what to call this, but remember how popular this was back in the day? It's almost like, is this a mood ring? A mood? Let me see. Maybe. Um, so they're, they're whale tails, and they're that rainbow. I mean, this is useless to me unless someone loves that rainbow enamel kind of like when i was a kid these were so popular the color i don't know what that's called though it's just a really cheap bracelet with no logo or brand um probably not really worth anything some more easter okay 
So I saw this through the bag and it looked silver. It's really dirty and old. It's engraved Thailand and 925 and it looks like the letter A, but it's so far one earring. I actually did see that through the bag. There's a old tarnished earring and junk jewelry. There's a junk earring. It's really tarnished. It's got a wood um, thing. We'll set it aside in case we find the match. So here's a kind of nice. What the heck is this? I think someone added this cross onto this necklace because it doesn't seem like it goes, but maybe it has an engraving of something I don't know. Tella. Maybe I'll look into that. Tella. Hammered kind of cross. Set that over there. Here's another one. What the heck? It's like somebody made these, I think. Um, so here's that piece, and it's on a glass bead necklace. Kind of nice beaded necklace. Here's a leather watch that has a $10 price on it. I'm not sure if that was from an estate sale or something probably. So we'll look up this watch here. And I could see this piece through the bag as well. It hmm, looks like metal and then here's copper maybe. So when I flipped it over, I don't know what this is called, but I will have to do my research. Oh, we got some more watches. Here's a Mustang flop Phillies. Still, still has the plastic over the glass, so it's basically brand new and genuine leather. Needs a battery. <clears throat> oh, these are eyeglass, eyeglass um, holders. cheap costume earring. What is this? I keep seeing it. It's just a cheap uh, wrap watch. And it's just um, a cheap one. It's not any brand really. It's kind of cool. It's pretty. Pretty color. So this is brand new. Um, My Goodwill does have a bunch of costume jewelry that is all new with tags that someone like donated to them. Like this has a $15 price for it, but it is literally junk. Like it's already broke. I mean, it's pretty, but it's not going to last long. So could totally fix that up. We'll put that aside. <clears throat> um, well, that's not very happy, is it? Um, here is a really maybe good find. Gruen, G-R-U-E-N. It has a diamond in there. Tucker, you're not doing that right now. No, sir. So there's a watch. That's like, what, the fifth or sixth watch? You need to turn it off, son. So here's another matching bracelet. Paparazzi. Oh, okay. Paparazzi earrings. Those are really cheap. We're going to throw those in the junk jewelry. Here's a matching earring. I have the match to that. Okay, so, so far this is what we have left on this bag. Lots of little pieces. Let's just pour it all out right here and maybe we can go through it quicker. <clears throat> oh, look, there's another watch, and it has a $12 price on it, and another watch. I hit the watch jackpot. A super, really gaudy earring with no engraving. It's very weird. Look at that. It's heavy. I mean, how would they even put that on their earrings? No engravings, you guys. It's like... 
a chain link fence or something almost. It's weird. It's heavy. There's a dollar president of the United States of America. Um, car keychain. Tucker, turn it down, please. My child, he's supposed to be outside playing. No, there's this little whatever that is. Looks like somebody handmade that. Oh my gosh. Um, did we have a match to this? I don't think so. No. Okay, so there's that. I don't think we did. There's a match to that cheap earring. Some backs again. So it's a bracelet. You would think it's sterling silver, but it's like steel or something. It's just a really cheap, old school vintage bracelet. I don't know. I don't think that's got a resale value really. Whoa, this has a $7 price on it. I have no idea what this is. Like a necklace charm for Christmas. It's kind of cute. Oh, Molly. This is a sterling silver charm bracelet. I just freaking hit the jackpot, you guys. Holy moly. This is it right here. Let's look what else. Look, we have that big ass matching earring. Old school sterling silver with turquoise ring. It's like bent. Korea heart. Okay, here's a real jewel like beaded, glass beaded watch. It's connections, quartz. It's not broke, just needs a um, battery. Wow, how many get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like eight or nine watches today. Oh, yay. Here's another one of the um, rock bracelets. So I got like four of those. <laughs> yeah, I love those. Too bad they're too freaking big for me. Okay, we got a matching earring here. Okay, guys, I'm just finding, oh, my God, look how cool this is. I don't think I would wear it, but um, I'm not seeing anything really worth showing y'all. Oh, look, here's another watch. It's Time Quartz. They have a $12 price on it and a state sale probably. That's a pretty earring with a feather. I don't have a match, but that's a cute little junk journal piece. Got a cute little earring with no match. There's the match to that one earring I had earlier. I think it was broken though, wasn't it? Yep, I remember. Oh, yay, is this, did I throw it? No, I didn't, look. I have the match to those little studded earrings. Oh, these are so cool. Um, all these are so cool. Yeah, look, I found the match. So freaking awesome. There's no engraving, though. <laughs> what do we got here? Something pretty. And then that's probably the last piece I'll show you out of this, like, a bunch of beads. Did I put that feather over there or is the feather still? Oh my God, is that a baby bracelet? <gasps> Look at that. Wow. It's got an engraving or an engraving BB on it or something. Look at that, it's like a tiny little bracelet. Holy moly, we, okay, so. Yeah, we found piece of that other earring. It's missing it. So we did not get a trio match on these. We got the necklace and this piece broke off. So 
Okay, we're going to go over this bracelet that's in my hand, though, because it's got sterling silver row all up on it. Okay. I didn't find the match to this interesting little T-O-U-S. Okay. So. Okay, I probably actually won't get this out during the video. So this is cool. Very cool. Hold on. I can actually get chains out untangled really easily. I think I've told you all that before. It just says, oh my God, I want. <laughs> um, this looks like a layered necklace and it's got a lot of fun stuff going on. So it's got a bar bead turquoise there. It's got the hand. I'll just, oh, well, there it goes. Junk bracelet. Um, one tip that I like to do when I untangle necklaces, you guys, I will grab a wooden toothpick and, um, oh yeah, that's awesome. It's a trio. Woohoo! I got it. Look at that. It's not even tarnished. It is cheap, but it's cool. I got it untangled. Oh my gosh. I'm excited to do the next video. Okay. So this bracelet here. What is this? I don't see James Avery on it. I just see sterling silver. Okay. And it is broke. So it's missing the clasp to close it. Oh, wow. I don't know what to call this Indian guy. What do you call him? Oh, he's got the crazy Jamaican hair, like a Jamaican guy, kind of. I don't know what to call that one. Um, that one is so small. I don't see the engravings on it, but it is sterling. This has IFS. I is in Igloo, F is in Freddy, S is in Sam, and then it says stir for sterling underneath this heart. And then, luckily, this is a really good quality sterling silver. This one has the letter C and a circle around it with the sterling. And that's that heart I showed a minute ago. And then, oh my gosh, we have a baby high chair. Holy moly. A high chair. And it has maybe a Navajo looking engraving and then it says Sterling. Can y'all see that? Maybe. I don't know if you can. And then this one is a cross that says Sterling. Oh my gosh. What is that? It's not James Avery. I don't know what that is. The logo more than once. Anywho, there is the, ooh, that one is also engraved sterling with like a flower stamp in the letter C. It's the Christian fish. And then we have two more. Very cool. Ew, even the charm. Oh, Mexico. Yeah, I thought it was a Navajo on one of them. So here's a little girl charm. And then we have an angel charm that is not as good of quality as the rest of the charms. There's a little angel. So that's cool. That's a score. All right. I think, oh, look. Dang, I would have never seen this. Um, here's a best friend's logo or heart. And in the back, I saw immediately the James Avery. Check that out. That's a score. Someone might have the other heart and they'll buy mine. Yay. This was fun. Did y'all like it? Was it worth your hour? Because I'm pretty sure we were on here for an hour with like a couple interruptions. Um, but yeah, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Oh, look, I found the match to that cute earring that I wanted to maybe keep. I don't know. Yes? Okay. Well, we have one more. Um, let me just check on the kids for a minute, and then I probably will look. 
I see a matching earring to an earring that we already went. It, I was entertained. I'm sure you were. Yeah, I'm like, bogey. <coughs> and then I'm like, kids, stop fighting. And yeah, I'm sure it was entertaining. <coughs> um, but yeah. Oh, this says S925ALE. It's a cool little starfish charm. So yeah. All right, guys. Yeah, I'll probably I'll schedule it too. What time is it? It's 118. I'll schedule it for like 130. Yeah, I'll try to hurry. And we'll do our second jewelry bag haul. Okay. Hope you guys have a great day and let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment box below. See you in a minute.